السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یور ٹو ٹیچر شوکت حیات از اگین ان فرنٹ آف یو ٹرائنگ ٹو ایکسپلین ٹو یو ڈفرنٹ لیگل ٹرمینالوجیز ٹو ڈیز ٹرمینالوجی وچ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ از کنسڈریشن دس از دس ریلیٹس ود دا لو آف کنٹریکٹ بٹ بفور آئی اسٹارٹ ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کنسڈریشن I would advise and I always advise my students not to undermine, uh, you see, the importance and significance of the law of contract because the huge majority of uh, civil litigations, they are based on the law of contract. If you are good in law of contract, then you can be a successful lawyer, number one. Number two is that uh, if you ask You see a group of students about the meaning of uh, consideration, hardly someone will give you correct answer. Uh, the majority answers would be nothing but uh, hocus pocus and mumbo jumbo as it is said. Or at the most, uh, the, the, the most correct answer which you can get is that you will be told that this is the price. The, the money consideration. The, uh, while this is not the true meaning of the consideration, uh, again, before uh, explaining to you the true meaning, the actual meaning of consideration, the term considerations, you must understand that in a contract, in every contract, you see, you will have to differentiate between conclusion of contract and performance of contract. <laughs> <clears throat> the first stage of a contract is conclusion. And for conclusion, as I, I have many times told you, what is needed for a conclusion of a contract, that is acceptance of a proposal. So far as uh, performance is concerned, generally speaking, performance plays no role in conclusion of the contract. Performance is, uh, uh, it has no, no relevant relevance with the conclusion of the contract. And what is a contract? I mean, when a contract is concluded, something is exchanged. A promise is exchanged for another promise. So now question arises, what does consideration mean? And what is a consideration in a law of contract, uh, in a contract? So in this, uh, uh, leaving the uh, de long definition of the Contract Act 1872 aside, in the simplest possible words, a consideration is the price of a promise. Okay, then there are two promises. Which promise is the price of uh, the other promise, you see? In every contract, you know it very well that there are two promises. And every promise is the price for another promise. Okay? So it means that there are two considerations. If, uh, if, uh, if um, uh, there is a contract between me and you for the, for the sale and purchase of uh, the laptop, so money is not the only consideration. There are two promises. I'm promising to pay, you promise, you are promising to deliver. So why, question arises, why I'm promising to pay you? What is my consideration? What is my incentive? My incentive is your promise that you have promised that whenever I will be willing to pay, you will be willing to deliver the laptop. So my consideration is your promise to deliver. While question arises why you are promising me that you will deliver me the laptop, your laptop. You are promising me because of a consideration. And what is your consideration? What makes you to promise that you will be delivering me your laptop? That is my promise. That is my promise to pay you. So my promise is a consideration for you And your promise is consideration for me. So it is the
the price a consideration is the price of a promise so uh, it, it can be concluded that in every contract there are two promises true promises and consequently two promisers and true promi two promises both the parties are promisers for their own promises and they are promises that is to say beneficiary of other promises so both the promises are priced to each other so both the promises are consideration to each other so it's it's uh, it's uh, correct to say that a consideration is the price of a promise uh, another important thing which i want to uh, talk about is that is it, it's not enough if you are understanding a concept which is being paid to, uh, which is being taught to you no it's not enough if you have understood well and good but you have got 50% of uh, the benefit of the lecture you must be able to to seek to to seek to 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 abilities ability to understand and ability to explain it to others ability to understand and ability to make other people understand now i have talked to you about the consideration and i hope or rather i'm sure that you have understood it so tomorrow if you are asked by someone what is what what does consideration mean you must have the ability to explain it to him Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.